You ever notice how SpaceX is launching rockets like it's a Black Friday sale? One giant leap for mankind. And hey, don't forget the two-for-one deal on Mars trips. Meanwhile, I'm over here struggling to launch myself out of bed each morning. My biggest achievement is finding a matching pair of socks. And let me tell you, if finding socks was a space mission, I'd be the first astronaut to get lost in the laundry room. So SpaceX has this massive control room, right? All those screens, buttons, serious faces. I have that too. It's called trying to operate the coffee machine before I'm fully awake. You'd think pressing one button isn't rocket science, but before my morning coffee, it might as well be. And when the coffee spills, it's an emergency landing in the kitchen. SpaceX is exploring the vacuum of space, which is super cool. You know what's not cool? My vacuum cleaner. It's like it has a mind of its own, sucking up everything but dirt. I swear, if I turned it loose in space, it would probably find alien life before NASA, just to clog itself with extraterrestrial lint. Astronauts train for years to handle zero gravity. I experience it every time I try to balance my checkbook. Suddenly, my numbers float away, and my savings seem to be in a different orbit. And don't get me started on trying to diet. Houston, we have a problem. My weight on Earth and Mars is different. Can I just live on Mars? SpaceX makes docking a spaceship look like a walk in the park. Ever tried parking in a crowded city? It's the terrestrial version of docking, but with more swearing and less grace. I could use a mission control guide for parking. Roger, you're clear on the left, and now your bumper is a YouTube star. Mars, the red planet, has been the target of SpaceX for years. Fascinating, isn't it? My own red planet experience is trying to wash my red shirt with my whites. Suddenly, I'm not exploring Mars, I'm leading an expedition through Pink Shirt Galaxy. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for my fashion sense. SpaceX is working on providing global internet with satellites. Imagine internet from space. Meanwhile, I can't even get a signal from my own bathroom. It's like my router decided, No, this is the black hole zone. If only I could tell my Wi-Fi to reach for the stars. Maybe then it'd reach the far corner of my apartment. Astronauts get these fancy high-tech space suits. They're designed for extreme conditions like the vacuum of space or the surface of Mars. I put on a suit for special occasions and suddenly I'm battling the extreme conditions of why doesn't this fit anymore and has gravity changed? If only my suit came with life support to handle the pressure of family gatherings. SpaceX's Starship is designed for missions to Mars, carrying humans and cargo with ease. Here I am, trying to carry all my groceries inside in one trip. It's a mission, all right. Houston, we have a problem. I've lost a bag of chips in the driveway. If only I had a rocket to help me with my heavy lifting, or at least a robot that doesn't judge my snack choices. 
Time in space is fascinating. Did you know the astronauts on the ISS experienced time slightly differently? Back on Earth, I experienced something similar. It's called scrolling through social media. I look up and suddenly it's three hours later. And I'm an expert on space, conspiracy theories, and why cats are scared of cucumbers. The moon landing was one of humanity's greatest achievements. Now, finding a parking spot at the mall during a sail. That's today's lunar landing. You circle around, gauging distances, calculating trajectories, and when you finally land that spot, it's one small step for you, one giant relief for mankind. So as we've seen tonight, SpaceX and our daily lives aren't that different. We're all navigating the unknown, whether it's the vastness of space or the mysteries of our living rooms. Sure, we might not be launching rockets, but we're all astronauts in the spaceship of life, dealing with our own quirky missions. And remember, if you ever feel lost in space, just know, back on Earth, someone's probably struggling to find their car in a parking lot. So here's to the adventurers, the dreamers, and yes, even to the folks who can't match their socks. Because in the grand scheme of things, we're all exploring the final frontier together. The everyday absurdity that connects us all.